Good morning and welcome. Thanks for being patient as we figured out how to deal with our technical difficulties. My staff was convinced that I would be just fine uh, yelling it out, but I thought I'd go with a mic. It seem a little more dignified. I'm gratified to see so many faces in the audience. I know that there are many Marinites here, but there are people from other counties as well, as well as representatives from across sectors, service providers, government, community members. I really appreciate your being here today. My name is Carolyn Petey. I'm the executive director at Fair Housing of Marin. And I've worked in fair housing for a number of years. I started in the East Bay and then moved to Marin just before I had a child. That was a long time ago. I'm inspired to do the work that I do at Fair Housing of Marin because I see how much work needs to be done here. I have to share a story with you, which is that recently I had an exercise class where I happened to mention in casual conversation before the class started that I had just given a talk on the intersection of fair housing and, and affordable housing. And one of the women responded, oh, affordable housing. I don't know about that. I've lived in Marin all my life, and I don't want anyone else moving here. <laughs> Needless to say, uh, we did not resolve our differences before the class began. But it certainly solidified my position that the time is ripe to have the kind of conference that we're having here today. Given the acrimony around topics such as affordable housing in Marin County and other neighboring counties, when the top 1% will own more than the remaining 99% by the end of 2015, we have to be talking about equal access. Access to education, to health care and healthy choices, to transportation, to employment, and to housing. So I thank you all for thinking that this is important enough to spend a day with us exploring these issues. So something about the flow of the day. We have an overview of fair housing followed by our keynote speaker, Sarah Pratt. Please be aware that we have very little transition time, particularly now that we spent a little time getting started. Um, and then following Sarah's presentation, there'll be a short break followed by two concurrent uh, sessions with se session one, which is the intersection of fair housing and affordable housing, here in the theater and session one, broadening housing opportunity in room A. Originally, by the way, we thought to have more of a discussion format, but the numbers are now too large to make that feasible. Registration was much larger than we had originally anticipated. Um, so you have index cards in your packets to write questions and hand to room uh, monitors who will then get the cards to the moderators. There will be additional cards in each of the rooms available for people and material <clears throat> Excuse me. Material from the breakout sessions um, are not in your packet, but are actually in each of the rooms. There are some tables in rooms A and B, and also in the lobby, where you can enjoy your free box lunch, which will be available to in, in the lobby at 12:30 today, um, and we'll be back here in the theater uh, at 1:30 sharp. So, um, and we'll have a very short but powerful movie. As you probably all know by now, there's no food uh, allowed in the theater, only water. We had the second of two breakout sessions immediately afterward, followed by a break. And you are not going to want to miss our closing session and a call to action. I think it's going to be a very exciting way to end, end the day. And lastly, please, please, please fill out the ev evaluation before you leave. We really do want to get your input. I'd like to thank some people. Um, starting with uh, Jessica Sparks, our supervising attorney, who for her ideas and organization on the front end of this conference. And a particularly huge thanks goes to Adriana Ames, our education director, who worked long, long hours with me in making this conference come together. And I can tell you she put in very many long days and very many long nights uh, on all the logistical details. So please help me in thanking Adriana. <laughs> Great job. Thank you. I received kudos from a colleague at HUD who remarked on the fact that we have some heavy hitters today, and we do. Um, he also remarked that the topics we chose to focus on were superlative. I can't take the credit. We've had a vision for this conference for some time now, which is why we wrote a grant to HUD a couple of years ago, saying we'd like to do this as one of our fair housing activities. They clearly agreed with us on our vision because 
they agreed to fund us. And they have a number of representatives here today, moderators, speakers, and attendees. So a big thank you to HUD. In fact, our first presenters will be Ken Carroll from HUD's San Francisco office, um, and someone who began his fair housing work as, uh, at a, a sister of fair housing agency in the Bay Area. Uh, and he'll be joined by Teresa Muley, who is from the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing. You have their bios um, in your packet, and so rather than simply recapping what's there, I'm going to, in the interest of time, simply ask them to begin when it's time for their presentation. We also, by the way, convened, when planning this, this uh, conference, we convened a Fair Housing Conference planning committee. All the names of the people who are on that committee are on the back of your, um, of your uh, agenda. And it's made up of representatives of our community, representing government, service providers, residents, who helped us shape the direction of the conference and helped focus the issues <clears throat> until we arrived at the topics that you see today in your agenda. One consistent participant committed from start to finish who also gave us a tremendous amount of support in garnering sponsorships when we realized that this conference was gonna be bigger than we had originally planned. And helping spread the word about the conference is Supervisor Judy Arnold. I wanna thank her for her unwavering support of fair housing over the years and to help make today a success. Please join me in welcoming Judy Arnold. 